How's it going ladies and gentlemen? In today's video, I'm going to be bringing to y'all the NVIDIA control panel and in-game graphics settings for World War Z. Now, this particular tutorial is going to be a little bit different. Since the game has such good performance off top by itself, um, we're going to use some of that extra performance to go towards the highest graphic fidelity possible. Alright, now normally we would start with low and mid-range PCs. But based off the overall performance, I think it's smarter and faster for us to just do um, the high end PC. And then from there, I'll tell you how to tone down for if you're on medium or on the low end PC that you definitely should not be playing on. All right? And when we say that, we mean a computer that you just got laying around. You know, maybe your grandma got an extra one uh, from back in 2000 that you want to try to run the game on. Um, and, and this game will run all right it's a very very well optimized game so um i'm gonna be bringing to y'all my favorite high-end settings and then i'll show you how to reapply this to the mid-range and the low end pcs so without further ado let's hop right on into it first we're gonna start off with the settings that you can change on whether it's low mid or high they all share this particular two settings in common and that's gonna be under settings game under um motion blur it'll be set to low um, at default you want to turn that off all right that's going to be the first step in getting the highest graphic fidelity possible next you want to move over to camera and you're going to move down to camera shake and we're going to also shut that off now that one may be more personal preference so you can give it a try see if you like the camera shake um and decide if you want to turn it on or off from there but i highly recommend just shutting it off all right now moving over to the video settings um as you can see at default one of the biggest problems is it being set to borderless i don't know why that's the default uh, maybe there's something that changed but you want to set that to full screen that's going to be the first step you take next you're going to set your resolution to whatever your computer's native resolution is as i've pointed out several times this is always a setting that you want to change last so if you're on that grandma pc that 2004 build 2000 build um that don't have any dedicated graphics card maybe like a 512 megabyte graphics card um then you you, you probably gonna want to mess with the resolution but unless you that far back you will not have to change the resolution especially with the the, the well optimized level of this game all right so next we're going to move down to resolution scale which is very very important uh, unlike usual games um where i would always recommend dsr dsr forget about the in-game scaling um props to world war z they did an excellent job on the in-game scaling all right so um this is going to be pretty much everything for later this is one of the most important settings in the game uh, but for now we're going to skip that we're going to just carry on um, target display can be one vertical sync you want to leave off uh, set FPS to limit you definitely want to leave this at unlimited I've tried several different ways of bringing it to anything else but based off these 30 60 90 uh, 120 other options it ain't really anything that works as well as unlimited um, later in the Nvidia control panel I'll show you what to set to make the unlimited not affect your PC or your performance nearly as much as it will if you just leave it unlimited so uh, for now we want to set the FPS limit to unlimited um, coming on down here to the video quality presets um, now for high end all right in particular 980 ti's which is what i'm using you can go exact on the settings that i'm giving all right which would be ultra all right so for us we're going straight up to ultra uh taa on as well <clears throat> now mid-range pcs and low-end pcs um again they did such a good job you can pretty much just set it and be good to go all right so if you're on a medium pc you're gonna set it this part to medium all right and then if you're on the low end pc you're gonna set this part to low all right and that's that's pretty much all you're gonna have to do as far as the in-game graphics part um for the low and mid end pcs as well all right and that's why i'm trying to put them all together so if y'all don't like this format just let me know and i and i try to change that up I'm trying to explain a little bit more so y'all can see why i'm making the changes that i have um oh another helpful tip 
this benchmark that run benchmark tool is very good for this game i mean it does a good job of showing you the differences that you're getting all right now we're gonna move up to one of the biggest problems that i see in the game which is a lot of furry on the characters and i hate that i like smooth corners smooth edges so uh the best way to achieve this that i found was increasing resolution scale now if again if you're on the 980 ti you can use my exact settings and you will see right away um the difference in running the benchmark at default versus running the benchmark with the settings that i'm giving you we still got to make a couple more changes in the nvidia control panel so don't get too excited yet but uh we're gonna start to um we gonna we gonna go to 117 on the 980 ti and that number is very exact all right um now if you want a higher refresh rate monitor um even then it shouldn't really be that big of a deal to have this much more uh graphic fidelity and sacrifice the frames but if you're a frame fanatic all right if, if you if you like frame rate more than you like graphics which i like graphics more than frame rate long as the frame rate for me is above 60 uh in most cases sometimes you can even go below 60 with the nvidia control panel features that make up for that difference so it, it, even though some people try to make you feel like a high frame rate is the the holy grail of everything um a lot of times with a lot of other technologies that's included you can still get a very fluid display even at a low frame rate all right so um that's why i'm willing to sacrifice to up that resolution scale to the 1.17 now if somebody try to argue with you this with you simply set the resolution scale back to the 1.0 which will increase your frame rate significantly um and then run it like that show it to them and then change back to the settings that i'm giving you with the nvidia control panel included and uh without a doubt um they'll be able to see the differences and why this actually matters all right so 117 exact for 980 ti's now if you're on mid-range or a low end pc what you're gonna want to do is um slowly start to move backward <laughs> okay this this could take you some time maybe you want to go by fives all right what i recommend is going by fives and you know the native frame rate of your pc which if i tried to give you an exact setting um this is so delicate that it, it might be off by just point 0.1 um so that's why i'm advising instead you know starting at that 117 was at you know which me medium empcs y'all won't be running it I'm, i doubt at 117 you'll probably end up at about 110 all right so start at uh 110 see if your frame rate that you get on the benchmark tool matches the frame rate of your display as long as the frame rate never drops lower than what your display is that is the setting you want all right same thing applies for the low end pc you too will also just keep um adjusting but i would say low end you should probably start at about at the one just start at the one um and if, if at that one it's running bad if your frame rate still don't match that of your monitor um we're gonna make uh, a couple more adjustments in the nvidia control panel that might help you i'll point those out and then as far as in the game if it's not even hitting the 30 frames well you 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 might have you might have a problem all right because it ain't very many things you can do past uh the low setting to to really get this to <laughs> you know be no easier to run than, than this all right so um now that'll pretty much wrap up that part of the video and we'll move on to the last part which will be the nvidia control panel um settings all right so now in the last and final part of the video we're going to be doing the nvidia control panel settings in order to access that you're going to right click anywhere on the desktop and select the nvidia control panel once you're inside of there you're going to click manage 3d settings and then you go click program settings once you enter program settings you'll need to select world war z um, you can try to get it in the selected program under customize option but nine out of ten it won't be in there so instead you can click add and then world war z appear in the list of the last play recently game so you pick that um, and then now you'll be doing the world war z options be careful if you scroll the mouse because you will change away from the world war z so be pretty careful with that make sure you always change the settings for just world war z now for the high end pcs um the only real option to change is anisotropic filtering up to the 16x then you want to move down to the texture filtering anisotropic sample option and turn that to off you're going to take texture filtering set it to clamp 
texture filtering trilinear optimization you want off and the most important vertical sync to fives and now with these settings for the high-end pc players you are ready to go um, you definitely want to use fast this makes a very big difference in the way that this game runs um, and it offset that increased resolution scale um, it's going to cut down on the extra frames drop past where we go anyway you'll see how that play out so go ahead run that benchmark and check out your result and now for my mid range and my low end um, settings um, see I did the scroll wheel thing be careful with that <laughs> so now let me go up here and for anisotropic filtering at medium you can start at the 16x as well um, but if you notice that it's starting to dip now during that benchmark to below your monitor's normal refresh rate if it's by one that's okay but by more than one uh, you probably gonna want to um, change the anisotropic filtering back to the 8x all right so drop drop down to 8 and then try uh you know try 8 then 4 then 2 you know pretty much to see which one of these makes the least impact um on your performance all right and the same thing apply for low end except for more than likely you're gonna end up just leaving this off okay so for the low and mid that's what you need to do with anisotropic filtering and then moving down uh, for the mid-range PCs, you don't have to leave. The, you don't have to change um, the texture filtering to high quality. Instead, you could just do quality. All right, um, and it's at mid. You can try high quality. You know, I noticed that the performance impact it isn't that great. So you could try the same as the high end first. And if it again, if the frame rate drop below that of your monitor, then you can start to adjust this to quality instead. The low end PCs, you go straight to high performance. All right, so if you low end, you high performance. If you mid, you can go quality. Uh, I honestly think with the optimization of the game that you should be able to pull off high quality. But if you can't, just go with quality. All right, and again, now the last setting, which is, um, oh, the threaded optimization. If you do go with the high quality for the mid, you, you, you also want to turn that off. Uh, the low end PCs, you could just leave tri trilinear optimization <laughs> turned on. Sorry about that. Um, these long cuts. All right, so I, I know I just messed up right there, but I'm going to finish this out. All right, so for trilinear optimization for the people at mid range, uh, you could go ahead, you know, like I said, you can leave this off and low end PCs, you could turn it on. Um, and just because it'll help with your overall performance vertical sync for both low and mid you want vertical sync set to fast this apply to all three of them all right i should just say that at the beginning vertical sync fast this game really really needs that fast um it's so much going on on the screen it's so many people it, it, it really need it all right and that's pretty much gonna wrap up the nvidia control panel aspect of the video and now you can go ahead um you're gonna just scroll down and then it'll be an option to apply you're gonna click that wait a couple seconds and then once it loads the apply button to disappear you can exit the nvidia control panel load up the game and run that benchmark again um and then like i was saying you'll be able to see um the graphic difference like how much better it look the characters would be more smooth you'll have those uh kind of ripped edges that kind of disappear it, it's just gonna look better for you overall even the colors kind of look slightly better with the anisotropic filter turned up to the 16x um so yeah before you change any settings again if you want to try it out go back to default and see what it look like and then um you know just a remind you where you came from to where you where you are all right so uh, if you found the video helpful uh, don't forget to hit that like button drop a subscribe it really helps in supporting the channel and you know some of the other projects and things that i'm trying to do so um i appreciate y'all watching and i will catch you boys on the next one